الشيطان بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Reminder from Prophet that this dunya is not a weight of a wing of a mosquito for Allah And everything has a cycle of life and death. We are under the teachings that this material world is in its last phase. It's entering it, its state of death and that everything around us is a sign of tremendous difficulty, tremendous bad character and we pray that Allah protect us against difficulties. That Prophet's holy hadith and teachings of only Allah that in the last days the mercy of Allah will be lifted from the earth. And as the dunya becomes more satanic, more demonic, more evil, the two don't mix. The truth and the falsehood don't mix. And as much as the falsehood spreads and spreads, it pushes away these ahl haqqaiq because they begin to attack the people of truth and these lights and beacons of Allah And by means of bad character, bad attacks, bad manners, they begin to become veiled. They no longer see those Rijanullah, they no longer hear the Rijanullah, they no longer keep the company of Rijanullah, Allah's holy souls that are a rahmah upon the earth. What is an understanding of a wali, of a saint? They have such an immense love for Sayyidina Muhammad that Allah's love is like a magnet that moving towards them. Because they were taught, love Prophet Now with that following in the love of Prophet Yuhibbukum Allah. Allah's, Allah's love is not something that can be imagined. With, with, with the love of the Divinely Presence every light, every tajalli, every blessing, every gift is dressing upon that soul where Allah is describing like a sun that in every moment I mean a new tajalli because Allah doesn't recycle. At every fraction of a second, as much as you can go down, the Divine has a new manifestation. New lights, new creations, new paradises, new angels, new praisings. How all coming new at every fraction of a second and Allah's dressing, that's an ocean of love. As a result of their love for Sayyidina Muhammad they attracted the love of Allah And Allah immense love continuously dressing those souls. What makes somebody to be a wali and those who follow the way of wilayat is their immense love for Prophet they took it, they understood it, they followed it exact, dressed with a completeness of their character, completeness of love. By means of that connection that every faiz comes upon this dunya.
Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation. Many people come and see me saying how difficult it is to get into the market and buy your first home today. At Shah of Kukutlam, we have a range of solutions that helps you find the perfect home that fits your needs. For over a decade, we have helped hundreds of clients from first-time buyers to seasoned investors achieve their goals. We also provide free seminars and workshops so when the time comes, you can make an educated decision to set you and your family up for life. Whatever your needs are, whatever your goals are, come and see me. My name is Shah and I can help you find the perfect home. Eastern cultures use teas and herbs as an elixir of health and wellness. Rumi Rose Teas revives this ancient tradition with a collection of over 40 delicious hand-blended teas. Enjoy God-given health and wellness within every cup of Rumi Rose Tea. Order online now. and Allah describing in the last days that they would be attacked. Hypocrite. That they would be backbitten, they would be all type of talk and bad talk to be put upon them and they don't need to defend themselves because Allah is defending but we have to be sad. Not because you're going to take the darajah down by attacking them, it's impossible. That whatever Allah give, Allah never takes away. Such an immense power, such an immense reality. But to see that in the last days they would be pushed away. Why? Because the sins of people. That when people go around and backbite and, and slander and talk horrible about only Allah who dedicated their whole life for the spreading and the propagation of the love of Sayyidina Muhammad Why? Why is that a danger? Because people will be cut from that mercy. Because as soon as you hear something bad about somebody pious, your heart will be, oh, who needs that? And you now just block the door from Allah's tremendous mercy. And that's the sad part that we're seeing now that as soon as people begin to attack pious people, it affects the heart of weaker people who are looking to them, thinking about them, loving them. And what happened is their heart now has doubt, their belief has doubt. Who's to benefit from that doubt is shaitan and dajjal. They are waiting right on the sidelines and they come after people to confuse them, to take them away. It's the love of awliyaullah, the love of these people that save us. By loving them, you keep their company, whether you're close or at a distance. By loving them, you're learning from them, you're looking at them. Every emanation and dressing is dressing upon the soul. So when these confusions start, know that people will be running and leaving those barakas. 
Don't untie yourself from a tree of safety. The storm is coming and all that Shaitan wants and every test that's going to come that Allah even sending the test that you know that one like a mountain in His power. You know that wali like a mountain in his power that whatever you're tied to, don't untie yourself. Don't let doubt come into your eyes and into your heart and into your hands and into your tongue. However shaitan going to send it. When we say shaitan going to send you doubt, it's not by a demon with two horns and a tail. But it's by somebody you know that has access to you. Shaitan is clever. Shaitan doesn't stand outside your glass window and say, let me in, let me in. No, no, he sends you somebody you know that he's already in the heart of that person and they come as human waswases. They begin to whisper, whisper, whisper. Why? Because shaitan wounds. Shaitan wounds, let go, let go, let go of that rope. Or Allah just said, don't let go of the rope and don't separate. This is in, in reference to the big ulul am. That when Allah guide you to these awliyaullah, the warning for the last days is, hold tight, it's about to get very stormy. When they say storm, means everything is going to come. Shaitan is going to confuse your ears, don't listen. It's not your darajat, that one is a wali, hold tight. Whatever coming to you, I don't want to hear it. Block your hearing because this is a, a practice that whatever you think you're hearing is not going to be anything compared to what Dajjal is going to be doing upon people. Don't want to hear, I'm deaf, I'm blind and I'm dumb when it comes to love of my shaykh. Did you know that your child may be eligible to receive up to $10,000 in government grants to pay for his or her post-secondary education? My name is Sikandar Hayat. I am here to help you. Call today for a free consultation. Knowledge, quality, integrity. Star cares about your best interests and have a wealth of experience to match. We've been in the business 30 years and are here to lead you every step of the way. Whether it's building the custom home of your dreams, doing gorgeous home renovations, building a laneway home, or revamping your commercial space. The star process works. Just ask our hundreds of satisfied customers. We have several properties and the best thing about Star for Life Services is that the work is done in a very timely manner and we're always very pleased with the result. Star, let's make your dreams happen. Call us now to book your free consultation. Almost 150,000 Canadians a year will use a homeless shelter. These people need food, clothing and access to basic hygiene. Fatima Zara Helping Hand is a non-profit organization with the goal of helping the underprivileged in Canada. Along with our active support for recent immigrants and refugees, one of our ongoing initiatives is to feed and clothe the homeless. For more than a decade, we have provided hundreds of thousands of hot meals to some of the most vulnerable and needy.
We continue these efforts with several monthly initiatives. For more information or to donate, please visit our website, nurmuhammad.com. Sayyidina Ali alayhi salatu salam is the Imam of the chivalrous character. is describing for us, before you're going to do anything, stop. Stop everything that you're doing, stop all your movements, stop all your typing, stop all your writing, stop every conversation that you're having. Because now you need to analyze is, is your time for Rahman or your time is for shaitan. Whether your action is by foot that you wanted to do something, you wanted to write something now because your mouth is like your fingers because you could type words. Majority of people in hellfire got there by their mouth. The new mouth is the hand by the words and the kalam that we put out earns for us our punishment. So as soon as you stop the teaching in the reality of stopping is opening now the tafakkur and the contemplation and reality of hearing. And Allah described they have ears but they don't hear. They have eyes and they don't see. And a heart in which is not alive. So this hearing is related to stopping. So people think that they're hearing everything, they're continuously hearing, hearing all the gossip, hearing all the talk and then quickly making judgment, quickly making moves but you really didn't hear. So what they want from us from Ahl haqqaiq, no, no, that stop in your life, as soon as you stop you enter into tafakkur and contemplation. Only through silence can you really hear because this way of reality one means the other. In this world you're dead and only when you die you become from Ahlul Hayat. But you think you're alive, everything is an illusion. So you think you're hearing because you're busy in the world. Say, Shaykh, I don't know what you're talking about, I hear everything. So no, that's actually not hearing. But when you enter into silence, connecting your heart and listening to salawats and taking out all the noise of this dunya, you can begin to hear. You're going to hear Allah is going to send your soul to you, begin to give you isharat and guidance. And begin to have a real dialogue. That dialogue is the hearing that we need. They're like little sparks that come to your heart. If you're running all day long, how are you going to get that spark? Because that spark is a subtle energy. It just comes to your heart and you feel a guidance coming, you feel an understanding coming. But if a person busy all day, they will never catch that spark. It's not going to come in the grocery store, it's not going to come in Starbucks, but it's going to come on the sajada when the servant is in tafakkur. He stopped his life, stopped his, his busyness, began to contemplate, what is the move that I'm making Ya Rabbi? The difference between people and awliyaullah is awliyaullah are years in advance of what they're thinking. Every step they make they have to contemplate. People move now today to the extent of their nose. They don't even care what the next consequence, they say whatever they want and surprise that shaitan attack them. 
They do whatever they want and surprise how they fell into a hole. They stop everything. Don't make a move until you've contemplated it. And when you contemplate and go deep in your contemplation, you're asking for their guidance. You have to be calling upon awliyaullah, it's a sign of humility. But Ya Rabbi make my heart to be pure so my step is pure, my actions are pure, my contemplation is pure. All of these tools are there for us. But now everything within an instant they want to type, they want to comment, they want to curse, they want to do everything, might as well have sealed your coffin and every difficulty come to that servant. Life is, is a big chess game. If every move you're making, shaitan is waiting on the other side countering your move. So then you play the move within your heart. The Ya Rabbi, if I take this step, what's going to happen? Shaitan going to hit me here, then shaitan going to hit me here and I'm going to end up in a hole in the middle. So they don't make a move unless they've contemplated it. Based on that contemplation then they're able to move successfully and to achieve what Allah want them to achieve. Then that opens an understanding of why when you accompany somebody as a guide or somebody pious, you have such a difficult time fulfilling what was asked of you virtually impossible. Why? Because shaitan understands the word of that shaykh more than the student. Shaitan is vigilantly associated in all the associations. He has more respect for the teaching than the student. He's listening and saying, why did he just say that? This is coming from Atiyullah, Atiyah Rasulu, Ulul Amri Minkum. Immediately he dispatches all his people to guard that that student never do what that shaykh just asked. That is the game that we're facing. If we don't take that understanding serious, don't take whatever you're hearing as something small. Think of it as something huge and why shaitan is blocking you from being able to accomplish it. They say, make a flyer, make a flyer, make a video, make a video, do this, do that, whatever it is, don't think it's something small because shaitan thought it was so big to block you and you're still not able to complete it. And Allah wanted something, Allah wanted to give something from that. Everything has a reward and a, and a reality within the heart and shaitan wants to block it, block it, block it. الحمد لله رب العالمين بحرمة محمد المصطفى وبسير سورة الفاتحة Have you started planning for the cost of post-secondary education? We will help you open a plan and access thousands of dollars in government grants. Give your child a head start with a CET plan. Did you know that it may be possible to start an RESP and not contribute any of your own money? Call today and receive 25 air miles reward miles when you book a consultation.